All right, so welcome everybody to Retro HD Gaming Channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can easily install free MacBoot on your PS2. In order to do that, obviously you need to have modded PS2 that can basically read burned medias like DVD or CD. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is obviously I'm gonna basically um, burn uh, UL for version 4.38 on my DVD drive and then I'm gonna insert that to my PS2 console and from there I'm basically gonna show you how you're gonna do the installation process and also I'm gonna show you how to install the um, how to install you know um, things that you're gonna need to have in order to you know run the games from the hard drive or USB also um, everything that you're gonna need to uh, insert to the uh, FAT32 formatted USB drive is going to be included um, down to uh, into the video description. All right, so we're going to just wait for this process to um, finish, and from there, I'm going to show you which files you're going to need to have on your USB drive. Alright, so uh, once you have that uh, little line shelf um, burned on your um, DVD or CD, depend uh, which you uh, pick, you need to insert that in your modded PS2 and simply reset the console. So the console that's modded previously with the mod chip will load the menu where you can simply choose so many different options and you can basically insert then your USB drive and start in, uh, installing MC Boot. So there is a USB that's going to be plugged into a PlayStation 2 USB drive port and basically from there we're going to press circuit for the file browser and before that, I'm gonna insert my memory card into the slot number two because the slot number one, unfortunately, is broken. I need to fix that in order to be able to install and properly have 
get insert. So you go to the mass because that's the uh, mass storage. Go to the FreeMC boot folder and basically pick FreeMC boot elf installer. And right here, the menu will pop up where you're gonna have options to, to install, to use multi install, and also to format your memory card drive. So I basically decided to format my memory card. It is a very quick process. Obviously, you don't need to do that, especially if you have saves on it. And then I'm gonna go to multi install. The reason for that is because I really want to have um, MC boot available as multi install so I can use it on uh, multiple consoles. So um, there is basically a warning that actually warns you that it's much better and safer to install just the regular MC boot instead of the multi because your memory card might be, you know, corrupted. So do you want to install into slot number two? Yes. And right now we would basically need to wait like a minute or two um, until the MC boot is installed. Meanwhile, we're gonna wait. Okay, so right now it's on 14%, 31. Um, then the next thing that I'm gonna actually show you is how to basically put the things on your main screen. So you don't need to go every time into mass storage or uh, boot to get, for example, um, open drive loader or whatever it's called. So you can basically load the games. All right, so 67% and installation is completed with success. All right, so we're gonna click OK and then we're gonna just exit, quit the program. There we go. So waiting a little bit. All right, so there we go. So right now we can just press back and there we are. So free MC boot or free Mac boot version 1.966. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is, as you can see in front of you are, are um, basically, um, what is the problem right now? So you need to put uh, on the screen um, applications. So they're not going to be automatically added on the screen. So we're just going to go to the... All right, so I really wanted just to restart a console right now so I can show you that Free MacBoot is successfully loaded on my memory card and that I can basically launch UL from my memory card instead of the DVD drive. So I can basically transport it to any other console and use it as a soft mode. All right, so we're gonna go to the memory card one and then we're gonna go to the um, system configuration, free MacBoot configuration. And from here, um, I'm gonna configure uh, on screen. Stop, so you need to go to the um, OCD settings and right here you can basically add the things on your screen. Right here you can see launch elf, ECR, HD loader, simple media system, launch disk and on the 6 I'm just gonna add PET. Obviously PET is gonna be dependent where the memory card is located. Mine is gonna be memory card 1, GSM elf. There we go. So I'm just gonna select open loader and GSM so for now, I'm just gonna go with the open loader. I'm gonna name it OPL and we'll actually save it. So as you can see, Pat is on the memory card one apps. Let's go to the return, save configuration to MC1 because my memory card is stored to the memory card one slot. In case if you're stored to the memory card zero, you should just pick the zero instead of one. All right, so we load it back. We go to um, settings and there it is. So right here we have on the loading screen OPL. So just in case if you wonder how to add applications on your main screen once the uh, free MacBoot loaded up. All right, so from here you can basically add the games to the USB uh, drive or to the uh, USB hard drive and you can basically put them 
from OPL. Links are provided in the video description just in case. Okay, so what are we gonna do next? We can add, I guess, a little bit more of apps just to do the homework so you don't miss anything. Okay, so let's go back to the configuration, OCD system options. I mean, you can also tweak some things here as well if you want. And obviously I can add a couple more things on my low screen, actually on my main screen. So for example, um, SNES or uh, Super Nintendo emulation. Again, let's go to the memory card one, Super Nintendo emulation elf. We select that, we go to return. Save to memory card one, exit. Let's see, will there be SNES on the main screen once the framing boot loads up? All right, so right now you can see also here in the memory card that there are also some other apps installed. You really don't want to delete any of them because you might just crap the memory card and you won't be able to boot the MC boot anymore. Alright, so there is SNES or Super Nintendo emulation system. I guess that's the... what that's what SNES means, or maybe not. Alright, so there it is. SNES Station, Super Nintendo emulator for the PS2, no PS2 memory card presented in the slot A. So you basically need to have a memory card inserted to the slot A in order to store the saves. And right now there is a disclaimer um, before the first usage. Obviously you need to read that, but that's basically it, you know. It's really simple. And right now, once I unplug the memory card, the next thing that you're gonna see that there's not gonna be MC boot options anymore, and that's because everything is stored on the uh, memory card. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.